These celebrations are meant to bring people together to mark an important milestone in their lives. They are boisterous and energetic, or at times solemn and devout. <laughs> However they are played out, celebrations are all about sharing fun and happiness. And in an island kissed by the winds and waves of the Pacific, happiness is central, not just to their merriments, but also to their daily lives. There is plenty in Catanduanes to be happy about. Outstanding natural wonders, fervent devotions, and the simple yet cheerful people. And everyone is invited to celebrate all these and more in this island province known as the Happy Island. Lying east of the Bicol Peninsula on the main island of Luzon, Catanduanes is the Philippines' 12th largest island, covering about 1,500 square kilometers of land area. Flights from Manila and Clark to Virac Airport in the capital of the province make it easily accessible. Regular ferry services also ply passengers from Tabaco City Port in Albay Province to either Virac Port or San Andres Port on the island. Previously known as the land of the howling winds because of its location on the typhoon path, Catanduanes has reinvented its image by focusing on and celebrating the positive features of their land. The Katanduan Festival is their biggest celebration. It is a commemoration of the founding anniversary of the province of Katanduanes in October 26, 1945, and is a showcase of the people's happiness as expressed through their faith and festivities. The festival opens with a civic military parade. Hundreds of national and local government employees, school children, and other partners make their way from the provincial capital grounds to Virac's main square called Plaza Rizal. It is a fitting start to a week-long celebration of life on the Happy Island. And there is much to celebrate. Catanduanes is blessed with a lush and stunning natural environment. The island's 400-kilometer coastline is dotted with coves and beaches, perfect for relaxation or adrenaline-pumping water sports activities. Mamangal Beach in the town of Virac is a long stretch of powdery, creamy white sand beach. Shady trees line almost the entire expanse of the beach, giving it an unspoiled and relaxing vibe. Its proximity to the town makes it a perfect place for families and friends to spend a lazy day and enjoy the calm waters. Or learn how to skimboard with the locals. Surfing has naturally become a popular sport in Catanduanes. Puraran Beach in the town of Baras draws both beginner and expert surfers from around the world to ride its famous majestic wave. The winds and currents from the Pacific make it a perfect surf spot, especially from July to October. Non-surfers can enjoy basking under the sun, playing sports, or just lazing on the remarkably wide beach. Another popular beach on the island is Twin Rock, named after a couple of rock formations jutting out of the turquoise waters. The inviting resort offers top-notch accommodations and amenities, as well as various activities including kayaking, and a bike zip line over the water. Visitors can also enjoy the stunning views of the seascape and surrounding environs.
Aside from beaches, Catanduanes' shoreline is also strewn with strikingly peculiar rock formations. Batag Beach is known not only for its powdery white sand, but for the arch carved out of the massive rock on the edge of the beach, locally known as Arkong Bato. In Talisoy Beach, curious cliffs that resemble Jesus' profile have attracted numerous visitors to the idyllic cove, transforming it into a popular pilgrimage site that locals fondly call Jesus' face. But arguably the best rock formations in Catanduanes can be found in the Carorian Islands in the town of Paco. The highlight of this collection of rocks dotting the sea is the imposing Poseidon Rock. The multiple layers of curving rocks have over the years formed this majestic structure reminiscent of the mythical god of the sea. But apart from admiring the arresting formation, visitors can also dip into the crystal clear lagoons or snorkel and marvel at the diverse corals below. But Catanduanes is more than just its beaches. The island's mountains are almost completely covered in lush tropical forests and are sprinkled with their own share of waterfalls. One of the most accessible is Maribina Falls in the town of Bato. Maribina Falls is a series of cascading water that flows into pools before finally flowing into the gushing stream. Because of its proximity to the highway, Maribina Falls has become very popular for picnics, soaking in its cool, clear waters or just admiring the beauty of its natural surroundings. Perhaps one of the most breathtaking places in Catanduanes is Binurong Point in the town of Baras. This attraction can be reached after a 30-minute leisurely trek through a canopy trail. As visitors reach the clearing, they are welcomed by wide rolling hills of verdant grasslands under the bright blue sky. Almost every spot in Binurong Point is picture perfect. Wild flowers and soft grass cover the gentle meadows that lead towards sharp cliffs and massive rocks at the edge where land and sea meet. The calming green pastures are contrasted by intense waves crashing on the rocks below. There are crevices and lagoons protected from the strong waves from the sea where fishermen bring their fresh catch for preservation using salt and vinegar or burro in the local language. It is an escape into a world where there are no worries. Only pure bliss with the earth, sea, and sky. The island is truly blessed with natural wonders, and its bounty benefits its people for nourishment and livelihood. The week-long Katandungan Trade Fair in Virax Plaza Rizal is where its bounty and byproducts are put on display to exhibit and sell. The fair is an integral part of the Katandungan Festival where all the province's towns, along with some partner agencies, bring out their best culinary treats, novelty items, fresh produce, and a variety of trinkets. As Catanduanes is the largest producer of abaca in the country, various goods made of its fibers are also showcased in the fair. The island's wonders will never fail to evoke feelings of bliss. But happiness cannot just be found in the natural beauty and bounty of Catanduanes. It is also felt in the faith of the Catandunganon. On the foundation day of the province itself, festivities begin with a holy mass in the Virat Cathedral. Right after the mass, the parade of faith is held. The parade is, in fact, a procession of the images of the patron saints of the 11 municipalities of the province, 
accompanied by delegates of the respective parishes and towns. From the cathedral, the procession makes its way to the provincial capital, where the images are put on display. Looking at the contented faces of the Katandunganon, it would seem like faith is the wellspring of their happiness. The 19th century St. John the Baptist Church of Bato is the oldest religious structure in the entire province. Made of mortar and coral limestone, it has withstood all the typhoons and earthquakes that ravaged the island over the centuries. It is strategically located overlooking the Bato River, surrounded by mountains, giving it further prominence and charm. Another important spiritual attraction in Catanduanes is the Batalay Church and Shrine. Believed to be the site where the Augustinian Fray Diego de Herrera, the first missionary in the island, was martyred and buried for his faith in 1576. The locals planted the very first cross here to mark the place. A natural spring was found beneath the church whose waters are believed to have healing powers making the shrine a popular pilgrimage site for devotees from near and far. A more recent religious attraction in the province is the Shrine of the Holy Innocents. It is located on a three-hectare property in Virat, owned by a devout family. They commissioned artist Isabello de Quiroz to create bas-relief sculptures of the 14 stations of the cross but they went further and added another set of biblical stations to complement the traditional ones. These sculptures are scattered throughout a maze of pathways in a beautifully landscaped garden that exudes an ambiance for prayer and reflection. A spiritual retreat in the midst of nature can also be found in Virat. Prayer Mountain is a nature camp and retreat center managed by the Christian fellowship called Jesus Reigns. There are two small caves or grottos that may be explored in the uplands of the camp. While a water cave is just a few minutes from the main entrance. The religious community also plants their own vegetables and maintains a fish pond for sale and for their own consumption. It takes about an hour to explore Prayer Mountain, although guests may stay overnight for a longer spiritual retreat. Finding inner peace is easy to do in Catanduanes with varied options available for anyone seeking spiritual nourishment. And the path to real joy might just be found here in the Happy Island. Happiness can never be full unless it is effusively expressed and generously shared with others. The Katandungan Festival is undoubtedly the grandest collective expression of the people's joy. Thus, this is the festival of and for the people of Katanduanes. In the formal Foundation Day program, the people led by their local leaders, give time to honor the province's founders. A fitting tribute is given to Francisco Perfecto, the author of the law that created the province of Catanduanes in 1945. Good evening, Catanduanes! Equally important as remembering the past is recognizing and developing the youth who will lead the province into the future. The annual search for Binibini and Ginoong Katanduanes is one of the most anticipated events of the festival. Young men and women from all over the province put their best forward as they compete to become the Happy Island's goodwill ambassadors. The prestigious Coronation Night was a grand event that showcased the best in Katandunganon flair. 
The highlight of the Katandungan Festival is the Padadyao sa Tinampo, a street dance parade and merrymaking that pays tribute to the cultural heritage of Katanduanes. Participants from the province's municipalities, dressed in colorful traditional Filipiniana, make their way from the capital grounds to Virax Plaza Rizal while dancing the pantomina. The pantomina is a traditional Bicolano dance that mimics the courtship of a rooster and a ham. It depicts a lover's ardent pursuit of his beloved. The female refuses at first, but finally gives in to her feelings. In Plaza Rizal, the contingents present their version of the pantomina as they try to upstage each other in this annual competition. Pantomina Catanduanes follows traditional choreography with a mix of steps that are quirky, amusing, and definitely fun. At the end of the program, all participants dance at the same time, providing a boisterous and energetic finale to the festival. The Katandungan Festival comes to a close on a high. Katandunganans look forward to another year of growth and development in their happy island. Everything in Katanduanes will give you happiness. Our breathtaking views, our majestic waterfalls, the rolling hills, the cliffs. These are natural given resources that would really give a, a tourist a certain kind of happiness. We are very religious. In Katanduanes, you would find places of worship, like even the smallest barangays, they have a place of worship like a small chapel. If there's a place that uh, starts with a chapel and ends up with a chapel, that's a simple street in Katanduanes. Maybe because faith is one thing that we hold on to. We are basically happy people. We don't dwell much on uh, problems or challenges. We invite everyone to, to visit the happy island of Catanduanes. If you are looking for nature, culture, and adventure, you would find it here. Life in Catanduanes is slow-paced, thrilling, spiritual, peaceful, simple, yet happy. And the Katandungan Festival is a celebration of that life lived with happiness.